Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to look at the reassembly of your bolt action muzzle loader. For any information on disassembling and or cleaning your muzzle loader, please see our two videos regarding the disassembly and cleaning of this gun. Before reassembling your gun, always check to make sure there's not an obstruction in the barrel. The easiest way to do that is to pass your cleaning rod and or range rod through the barrel. If it passes all the way through, you don't have any obstructions, you can begin reassembling your gun. At this point, before we start to put the barrel and stock together, we're going to look at reassembling your bolt. To reassemble the bolt requires your 2 millimeter Allen wrench, your 4 millimeter Allen wrench, and your depriming tool. To begin reassembling, simply take the shroud on the back of your bolt and screw it into the back of the bolt body until finger tight. Take your four millimeter Allen wrench and secure it firmly down. The next piece, your cocking piece, you're going to want to take it with the notch facing forward and place it in the cocked position. And what I like to do is hold that down with my thumb as I'm reassembling the rest of the bolt. So from this point, take your mainspring, slide it down the front of the bolt body, and take your striker and slide it down through the mainspring. Applying forward pressure on your striker, push it in and begin to turn it, and the threads of the striker will engage in the cocking piece. From this point, you can take this end of your depriming tool, which is set up to re-screw the striker back into the bolt body, and turn it clockwise until you reach the depth previously marked as a hash mark on your depriming tool. That'll set your firing pin depth so that it will consistently strike and ignite primers. Should your cocking piece fire down to the fire position while you're screwing your striker back in, simply take your bolt, put it in the back of the receiver with the cocking piece in the raceway, and turn your bolt clockwise. It should recock your, your bolt. From this point, using the hash mark on your depriming tool, check your depth. The depth is good. Your bolt's ready to be reassembled back into the gun. Moving forward with putting the barrel back into the stock, simply take your barrel, realign your trigger into the trigger guard, and align your barrel and receiver with the channel in the stock. From this point, to secure it down, you have your five millimeter Allen stock screw and your flathead screw that goes just behind the trigger guard. The first one you want to seat is your front stock screw. You can push it in until finger tight and then just use a five millimeter Allen wrench to secure it the rest of the way down until the shoulder of the screw meets the countersink in the stock. Next, take your flathead screw, put it in the hole behind the trigger guard, and just secure it down. Once both screws' heads are effectively sitting against the countersink in the stock, you can perform a few checks to make sure that you don't have much movement in your barrel and receiver inside your stock and that you have a good, strong engagement on your screws. From this point, I like to mount it back in my vise and reinstall my breech plug. To secure it down, use your breech plug and nipple removing tool. Install your T-handle through the hole in the tool. Feed it through the back of the breech, align it, and you can move it in finger tight. Once you get down close to the bottom where the shoulders are going to meet up with the barrel, you can reuse your T-handle to tighten your breech plug down the rest of the way. Once the shoulder on your breech plug has met the shoulder inside the barrel, your breech plug should be nice and tight. Lastly, to reinstall your bolt, make sure that your rifle safety is pushed to the fire position. Align your bolt in the raceway, depress your trigger 
push your bolt in, making sure to align your caulking piece with the bottom raceway. And from this point, you can release the trigger, put the rifle back on safe, and close the bolt. Once your bolt's reinstalled back into your gun with the safety on, if you have an optic on your rifle, you can now reinstall that.